Hey everyone, this is Henry and for a few days now everyone has been talking about this mystery fighter that we all are gonna have the honor to use in EA Sports UFC and I think that it's pretty clear to everyone right now and based on all the clues and the picture that this mystery fighter is no other than the late Bruce Lee. Now the first clue that we got was this fighter has never fought in the UFC. Bruce Lee has never fought in the UFC, obviously we all know that, so that's the first clue. The second clue we got was he'll be playable in four different weight classes. Now during his lifetime, Bruce Lee weighed from 125 to 165 pounds, so my guess is he'll be playable in the flyweight division, the bantamweight division, featherweight division, and the lightweight division. The third clue we got was this fighter was born in America. And as we all know, Bruce Lee was born in San Francisco. The next clue we got was actually a video by John Jones where he said, This fighter is innovative, a statement maker, a trendsetter, an intimidator. He's everything, the epitome of champion. And we can all agree that Bruce Lee is indeed all that and so much more. And the clue we got today is a picture and that picture pretty much gives it away because if you've watched any Bruce Lee movie then you know that those colors, the yellow and black, pretty much represents Bruce Lee. And you know I always thought that it was very interesting that Anderson Silva wore very similar trunks and he's been compared to Bruce Lee in so many ways but that's beside the point. With all that said we all know that it's Bruce Lee alright there is not a single doubt in my mind that this mystery fighter is Bruce Lee but now the question is and I'm not trying to be cheesy with this at all but if Bruce Lee was alive would he want his likeness in the UFC game if Bruce Lee was alive would he have competed in mixed martial arts now based on everything that I know about Bruce Lee, specifically his philosophy on fighting, my answer is a big no. I don't think Bruce Lee would have competed because to him, a fight was not a competition. To him, the purpose of martial arts was not to win a belt, become a champion, defend your belt and all that. That wasn't the idea of martial arts to Bruce Lee. To Bruce Lee personally, martial arts is all about self-expression. To him, when you fight, you should use every single weapon you have. He talks about using your fists, your legs, your fingers, kick them in the balls. What we consider dirty fighting to him is actually martial arts because it's all about self-expression. When you get into a street fight, there are certain things that you don't do in this day and age. Like you don't kick the guy in the balls, you don't pull his hair, you don't bite him or stick a finger in his eye because you don't want to be called a punk. You don't want to be called a coward because everyone's going to say, oh, what did you do? You punched him in the balls. Oh, you're a coward. Or, oh my God, you bit him. What a coward. What a pussy. So you don't do that. You restrict yourself. You only use your fists or you only use your fist and your legs. Maybe you take them down. But to Bruce Lee, if you're restricting yourself at all, you're not fighting because you're not expressing yourself honestly. And if you're not expressing yourself honestly, you're not a martial artist. That was Bruce Lee's philosophy. He was a street fighter. A lot of people don't realize this, but Bruce Lee was a bad, bad dude. He was a street fighter. If you fight Bruce Lee, Protect your nuts, protect your eyes, watch out for his teeth, cause he'll bite you, he'll kick you in the nuts, he'll use every single weapon, he'll do whatever it takes to beat you. That's who Bruce Lee was. Now to imagine a guy who not only believed in complete freedom and self-expression, but also preached it. It was his whole philosophy. To imagine that guy in MMA with all the rules, no way. There is no way Bruce Lee would have ever, ever fought in the UFC if he was alive. And I don't think he would want his likeness to be used for a competition. Now, I'm not trying to diss EA. I'm not saying that I'm not super happy to have Bruce Lee in EA Sports UFC. I am. Completely 100%. And if I can take him online, you can bet I will. But would he want this? Probably not. His philosophy is pretty clear. And I just don't think he would have agreed to this. But let me know if you guys are excited about having Bruce Lee in the game. 
do you think he should be playable online specifically and do you think he'll be overpowered um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think but um that's it thanks for watching and be safe guys